Hi and thanks for checking out my channel here on Reflex Camera Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you this single lens reflex camera, a Nikon F80. I mounted a Tamron zoom lens with 80 to 210 millimeters. This is a really sophisticated camera with a lot of functions also for the professional user or the semi-professional users. I don't know if I can show them all in this short video, but I'll try my best. Most of them, the most important features. You can put the camera on with this uh, power switch here. The display comes from just the number of photos already made at that moment. It's E for empty because there is no film inside. We'll put it on and we're now in P, which is the program mode. That is the function to get the automatic best settings for your photo. Then you have the manual mode, which is completely manual. So you can completely adjust the aperture and um, the time uh, on your own. If you go to E, you have the, um, or better with F, you have the shutter priority, which gives you the corresponding value for the shutter or the corresponding value for the given aperture, the aperture priority mode. The next one is CSM, which allows you to configure more uh, specific functions of the camera and the ISO setting, which allows you to manually change the ISO setting of the film inserted in the camera. The next button see or, or dial is here. If you pr press this small button, then you can change the dial on this side. I don't know whether this is good to see, but I'll try my best. This is the normal mode. This is a, uh, as I would say, speed fire mode or more photos with one click of the button. Uh, then you have the self timer is the next one. The third is the self timer, uh, which allows you to get yourself on the photo or whatever, or have a, a timer. And the next one is the multi exposure, which means you can get on the same piece of film uh, two or three um, pictures. This is just for uh, photographing um, on art or something like that. Uh, nothing you would use as a normal photographer. The photos will get uh, a bit dizzy or uh, will not show anything but colors or whatever you will do. The next one here, this little selector is for the mode of the metering system, which allows you to uh, change from uh, just the normal setting in the, in the middle of the picture to a broader or brighter uh, measurement and uh, even more to uh, just a single point, which you can choose on this. Here is a dial again, so that you, you can see it here on the ISO mode, so you can uh, select here and here for this on the display only the this dial uh, is in use we'll go back to a normal photograph program here you have the possibility to get it illuminated if you're photographing at night and then you have on the front side um, the uh, selector for the um, 
film, uh, no, no, not the film advancement, the focus mode. So this gets you from um, the uh, autofocus uh, single to a continuous focusing, which is if you want to uh, make a photo of something which is moving, the camera will automatically adjust the autofocus to the moving object. So in the normal, uh, if you are photographing something that is not in movement, you won't need that. This button here is very special. This is the depth in field selector, which allows you to uh, get a preview of the uh, depth of field. Uh, when you press it, the camera will move and click a bit. So this allows you to see in the inside where it, the picture will be sharp and where it will be not sharp. So this one is a, uh, something you would only expect on a um, high performance or professional camera. So quite unique. You have here the possibility to get out the flash. This button is here. It will come up automatically if um, the program uh, is on P and uh, the camera um, thinks there will be an underexposure, so it comes up automatically. You have um, here the um, metering system selector, um, which allows you to switch between two different metering systems and you have the auto exposure bracketing button and the flash sync mode so you can um, get the uh, the flash to different programs for example uh, use a um, just wanted to show you red eye reduction or you can see it maybe in the display or you can um, get different flash functions from this special mode, slim mode. So this one gets you more or better um, flash services. Here we have the opening button for the back of the camera. You can see inside where the film normally sits. Here are the ISO sensors. So the camera recognizes the film's um, quality and adjusts itself to the film. Here you have the, um, another button. This is um, a lock for the focus area. So if you are made a focus uh, at the picture sharp, you can just lock it to keep it in this setting that uh, not a moving object or something like that would change this setting if the setting is good. So this is um, a part of this camera. I will get the lens off to, uh, to show you the contact points on this lens. So if you press the button and turn it to the left, it will come up and here you can see the lens system, the contacts, contact points, I would say, that allows you to mount this lens. And the lens mounting is not, uh, for my personal uh, opinion, the lens mounting is not that optimal as, uh, for example, on a, a Canon EOS, which uh, always fits perfectly. Here you have, sometimes you have to uh, get a little uh, turn around to get it on the right position. So this camera is a really good camera from this time. It was not meant for the absolute amateur photographer. 
it was intended for a, uh, a photographer who wanted to get more of his photos, uh, to get more uh, possible settings. Um, there are many different customizable modes on this camera, which I already said uh, I'm not able to explain in one video. Uh, if you say I want to know more about those uh, specific uh, customizable settings, I will just make another video about this. Uh, but so far this is a real good camera. If you have one at home, use it. It's still a good quality today. Uh, if you like, of course, analog photography. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and like the camera and uh, take a look at my other videos on the channel. Maybe they are also interesting for you. Thanks for looking. Bye bye.